Alright, hello everyone. Sorry for my absence for like a few months. It's really nothing. Don't worry, I'm back. I'm gonna make videos now. And if you can't tell by the title of this video, this video is basically going to be me showing you an improved 1MP snipe combo that I personally like a little bit letter- a little bit letter- a little bit better than the previously one made that people have been using for quite a while now. So as you can see, this is the combo right here. It starts with Meba shot, goes to smoke dust, paralysis shot, snipe, and then bullseye. Now the benefit of this one is that it actually does deal 10% more damage with snipe, and you also get all of these buffs and debuffs on your target, which will of course improve your abilities. The only real downside though is that <clears throat> it is a little bit longer of a combo. So it is a little bit less safer to use, but the great thing about it though is that it doesn't, like you don't have to go and get impact, which also means that this combo takes up less skill points. And as a matter of fact, it can even take up less skill points than I'm using right now. So if I go to my skill tree right here, these are all the skills that I have. This one right here should probably be level 10 if you're going to use it. This one is only needs to be at level 5. This one only needs to be at level 5, this one only needs to be at level 5, and this one only needs to be at level 1. But I, I decided to max them out so that I could get all of the buffs and debuffs from them. So basically the way this works is that Miba Shot initiates the combo for only 1 MP and slows the target. Smoke Dust will also blind your target and increase your hit rate. And also, it has save on it, and since it costs 500 MP, what's going to happen is that for the next 500 MP spent, they're, they're going to be free. So what happens is I have Paralysis Shot right here, which costs 300 MP, but because of this right here, because it has consecutive, it's only going to cost 1, so it already used up 1 MP from this. Then Snipe over here, which costs 400 MP, We'll also have the additional 400 from here used up, meaning that now all the MP from this save right here is used up. And I have Smite on it, which means that it's actually going to deal an additional 50% damage. But of course because of this, it's also going to deal 40% less. Meaning that the damage of this has increased by 10%, unlike the traditional combo, which is decreased by 10%. Then over here I have Bullseye, which is just here to like finish up the combo. And it has consecutive on it, so that it doesn't cost any MP. So I'm going to go on ahead and use this now. Okay, so here we go. So you start off with that, slows the target, makes it a little bit easier to hit them, or I mean, not hit them, but avoid them, so that way they can't get to you as fast. And then we also have our buffs and debuffs, so we also increase our hit rate and decrease their hit rate, and then paralysis, and then the buff that you get from the same skill. Uh, I forgot what that does, but it does help with your DPS a little bit. I'm pretty sure it helps with your stability and then lowers your target stability which of course helps increase your damage. And of course if you have a bow equipped, these buffs are going to improve a little bit, whereas the bow gun is just going to straight up deal more damage. But anyways, I think that this combo does work out quite a bit better. Um, it is a little bit more well-rounded, and even though it's a little bit less safe to use, you do have to consider the fact that even if you're at close range, if you're fighting something like the Pillar Golem, you can still use it. Even though it would probably be best if you stay far away from them. As you can see, this is performing very nicely. And of course, one thing to consider is that proration will affect this a little bit more since it has five physical skills instead of three physical ones and one magical one. So you do have to kind of make sure that you don't like, I guess like, you know, attack too much with it. So you do have to like make sure that you 
Like, make sure that you attack a little bit more, or else your snipe's going to deal a lot less damage. Ooh, I almost died there. Probably gonna die from this anyways. Don't know why I decided to do this. Here we go. I'm gonna slow him, then do that, paralyze him, and then snipe him. Oh boy, there we go. So yeah, anyway, you guys, um, I would definitely recommend that if you have a sniper that you try this out. It's worked pretty well for me, except for right there, because I was all alone, and he was like level 40. But anyways, that'll be it for this video. See you later.